Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my winter wash day routine. I have not did a winter wash day routine in like two years or almost two years. So I'm excited to finally show you guys uh, my winter wash day routine because this has been requested. So of course I always start off by sectioning my hair off because that is what helps every strand get attention when you're doing your wash day. So try not to just slap you know, products and DIYs onto your hair without doing the sectioning thing. I see people do that a lot and I'm like, that's not gonna cover every strand. So make sure that you section your hair off into subsections. Okay guys, so before I get started with my actual wash day routine, I have to show you guys one of my favorite pre-poos and that is to use aloe vera on my hair. Now you guys see that I have it cut up in these little pieces and I'm just putting it on my hair this way. This is actually, I will say this is the worst way to do it. This is a very lazy way to do it. <laughs> it's not um, getting all of the juices out of the aloe vera and I'm not sure why a lot of people do it this way but I was lazy this day so I went ahead and did it but if you guys want to see how I actually do my aloe vera treatments like for real for real when I'm not being lazy I will have that linked right above and that's how I normally do it I actually put it in a blender and blend it all up and that really does help it to um, really get out the juices and really get out the gel in the aloe vera plant but I am going to let you guys know right now, if you put aloe vera hair on your hair at all, it's definitely just going to be amazing, so it doesn't even matter, but I feel that this way doesn't, you know, come across as effective. The reason why I normally use aloe vera in my pre-poo is because it promotes hair growth and it helps the hair to retain the moisture, so it definitely helps with like dryness or if you're experiencing extremely dry scalp, just putting aloe vera on your scalp is a very healing plant. Um, so adding it to your hair routine is like, it takes your hair routine up a couple notches, especially in the winter time when your hair is getting like tortured by the cold air. You want to make sure that you're putting as much hydration and moisture in your routine as possible. As you guys can see, I'm actually putting the aloe vera plant on the edges of my hair, on my scalp, on the entirety of my hair because you want to put it all over. I know a lot of people just only concentrate on the scalp, but aloe vera is good for all of the hair. You don't have to just focus on one part. It does make a difference when you go ahead and put the plant all over your hair. It makes it a lot softer, especially your hair strands. And if you're having trouble edges or you know if your edges are not there, definitely putting aloe vera on your edges is a clear sign to any type of um, issue that you're having. Okay, so once I'm done putting the aloe vera pre-poo all over my hair, I like to leave that in for about 45 minutes. You can leave it in for a little bit, you know, less than that if that's too much, but I like for it to really settle in. And as you guys see, I have my hair up and I'm just gonna put it into a shower cap. Okay, so now it's time to head to the shower. I just took my hair out of that, you know, twist and it looks really good. It looks like I could actually wear this out. <laughs> but I'm just gonna go ahead and drench my hair with water. This is super important because I highly recommend when you're starting your wash day to drench your hair with water. You don't wanna just start applying products. You'd want the water to kind of run down your hair strands so that you can set a nice foundation for the products to actually work well on. Of course, I'm taking the Pink Honeysuckle Plus Aloe Flower Shampoo by My Line Nourished by Shantae, and I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair with that. If you guys will want to know, um, you know, all the benefits of the shampoo, go ahead and click the link above. But I would just let you guys know this stuff is amazing. As you guys may know, I do have aloe vera in this shampoo as well. So pretty much all the products that I'm using in this video is going to be geared towards moisture because that's what you need to focus on during the winter time especially. And yes, my hair is now down to my tail, my bottom. 
Um, I can't show you guys, but I am going to be probably straightening my hair soon so that you guys can see the length of it, but it has really grown. So after I get finished with the shampoo, definitely we're going to move on to deep conditioning. And I'm using my Nourish by Shantae Hydration and Strengthen Treatment, which is from the Pink Honeysuckle line, which is the Pink Honeysuckle Plus Mango. I absolutely love this stuff. It is super moisturizing. It has mango butter in it. It has hibiscus in it. It has um, moringa oil in it. It has a lot of ingredients in it that's geared towards moisture and also growing the natural hair which all my products are geared towards growing your natural hair so i absolutely love this stuff um i don't even know like i just can't believe that it's finally out a lot of people were asking me about this and i'm so glad that it's finally here the marvel packaging everything is just amazing so if you guys want to see more about this product go ahead and click the link above where i talked about it in my previous video but I definitely just love to section my hair with the deep conditioner as well. I know it takes extra time to do it this way. But if you want to make sure that your deep conditioner gets all over your strands, or you do want to make sure that you put it all over your hair. You don't want to just slap it on. I mean, sometimes I'm in a rush and I do just slap deep conditioner on my hair. But I really wanted you guys to see the benefits of this deep conditioner. And here's a comparison of when I put the deep conditioner on my hair. And as you guys can see, it really did moisturize my hair strands. It really did make my curls pop as well. I just am in love with this. The formula on this is like the best. And it also has all natural ingredients and some organic ingredients. So I just made sure that everything was nice and natural for you guys and nice and clean. If you want to purchase this, you can also go onto the website. Of course, it's gonna be linked in my description box. Um, and it's going to be on the website at nourishbyshantae.com. The detangling is a breeze. I'm actually detangling my hair as I go. And I kind of separate my hair and detangle as I go to make it a lot easier. And it's such a breeze with this. So this deep conditioner is amazing for detangling the hair as well. So I'm going to leave that in my hair for like 15 minutes. But if you want to do a super deep um, treatment, then you can do it for like 30 minutes. So I went ahead and washed the deep conditioner out of my hair and as you guys can see my hair looks amazing. I'm still shocked. <laughs> so now I'm just going to take some leave-in conditioner. I'm using the leave-in conditioner from the Verve product. Um, I normally do put a conditioner like a regular conditioner on before I get out and then I put a leave-in on top of that. I don't know if I just got thrown off by filming today but I didn't do that for some reason. But I would definitely recommend, especially in the winter time, to put a regular conditioner on and then a leave-in. So that was my wash routine for the winter time. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you guys see the results. They speak for themselves. If you'd like to see more videos like this, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.